guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 47th tutorial in this course and this is going to be a really short tutorial and what we're going to talk about is uh, infinite loop. Now, infinite loop as the name suggests is a loop that runs infinitely, right? So, as you can see using code blocks, I've saved the file. I've given it the name uh, infinite underscore loop dot c on line 1 in this file. I have my stdio.h header file on line 2. I have the main function and then Within the curly braces, I've already typed in some code and uh, as you can make out, I have the for loop and in the body of the for loop, I have a printf statement. Now, I haven't used any control variable for the for loop. There is no test condition and the updation statement is also missing. So, obviously, you know, since I haven't specified any test condition, there is nothing to test, right? So, whatever is going to be within the body of for is going to execute forever. Now, the reason why I'm demonstrating this to you is because sometimes it may happen that you might skip, you know, some component of the for statement. You might either skip the initialization step or the test step or the updation step. And if that happens, then it can, you know, create certain problems in your code. And uh, sometimes people do this because they want this effect to be there in the program. So infinite loop is not really uh, always an you know unwanted uh, thing or unwanted effect, but uh, most of the times uh, it would exist in your program if uh, you missed something in uh, your loop, right? So I've saved this file and uh, I click on build and run. This is what I get. Right, so the printf statement was supposed to display the message run forever. It also has a new line escape sequence. So this sentence or this phrase is being displayed uh, continuously. Right, so you can see at the bottom, fresh lines are being generated. And if I try to scroll up in this window, then uh, my scroll bar is brought back to the bottom, and I can see that more lines are you know being generated. So if you want to get out of uh, this output window, then you know, like we always do, we press some key. That's not going to work this time. So either you would have to click on the close button here, or you would have to stop this process by uh, pressing the key combination Control plus C. Right. So if I would do that, then I would uh, the the output window would shut. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are probably going to resume our discussion on functions. And uh, I took a little detour because uh, you know I wanted to discuss go to and infinite loop with you uh, before moving on in the course. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. And please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.